Well, Ocasio-Cortez doesn't seem very worried about jobs that will be lost due to automation because far more jobs will be lost implementing the Green New Deal. Patrick Moore helped found Greenpeace. He has been aggressively critical of the Green New Deal, though, and we thought we'd find out why. Mr. Moore, thanks very much for coming on. So you're one of the founders of the most famous environmental organization in the world, and you think the Green New Deal sounds terrifying. Tell us why. Well, because it would be basically the end of civilization if 85% of the world's and also 85% of the U.S.'s energy in the form of coal, oil, and natural gas were phased out over the next few years, like 10 years. We do not have anything to replace them with. Yes, if we went into a crash course of building nuclear reactors, we could replace them for producing electricity, but that isn't going to happen because the Greens are against nuclear, and they're even against hydroelectric dams, which at least is renewable, but they don't support that either. So basically, they are opposed to approximately 98.5% of all the electricity that we are using, and a, nearly 100% of all the vehicle and transportation and ships and planes energy that we are using. So I just, when, when I tweeted the other day and had a huge response, over 3 million impressions on Twitter, when I said you don't have a plan to feed 8 billion people without fossil fuels or get the food into the cities where it's needed, that requires large trucks. And there's not going to be any electric trucks anytime soon hauling 40 tons of food into the supermarkets where the people in the cities probably think it originates in the supermarket. But it does not. It's coming from farms out in the country where a few million people are growing the food for all the rest of the population. And if we banned fossil fuels, first agricultural production would collapse in a very short period of time. There's these things called tractors and they use fuel and all the other implements on the farm and then there's the transportation so when, when when you have no fuel how do you get the food to the center of new york to manhattan where aoc is from you don't then the people there will begin to starve and that will spread out as a rot from the center of the metropolises all across the country and half the population will die in a very short period of time. And as I also pointed out, there wouldn't be a tree left on this planet. Say this was a worldwide thing, because the United States isn't going to ban fossil fuels if no one else does. But say the Paris Agreement came into effect fully all around the world and everybody banned fossil fuels. There wouldn't be a tree left on this planet because that would be all there was for fuel for heating and cooking as they did in the old days when there was hardly anybody on the planet compared to what there is today. So just that one point, never mind the insanity of banning aircraft and fossil fuel using vehicles. Well, you just completely blown my mind. And, and I knew some of that, but the way you put it uh, was really stirring. Patrick Moore, I hope you'll come back on the show anytime that you would Anytime, like Tucker. Thank you.